we just had a, a plane just crashed into a floor of the World Trade Center, transmit a second alarm, and start relocating companies into the area. We mark the 10th anniversary of the attacks of 9-11. Many of us have indelible memories of where we were and what we did that day. And then at 9.03, I mean just a few minutes after sitting back down with my daughter and feeding her, watched live as the second plane flew into the tower. And I just sat there with my mouth hanging open. My wife, when I told her, you know, something's going on, we don't know what it is, she then said, instead of saying anything else, she just said, please don't go to New York City. There were heroes that day, and there are heroes still. All across Minnesota, and indeed all across the nation, there are men and women who stand ready to serve those who need help. Even though we are miles away from the actual attack sites, things changed for us here in Minnesota and around the world immediately. I recall that we had about a 30% increase in run volume. There was palpable anxiety in the community and an eerie silence in the hours and days ahead when all air traffic came to a halt. If there's anything that stood out in my mind that day was heading east on 86th Street behind uh, pretty much a uh, full assignment of fire vehicles, uh, engines, trucks, and, uh, and myself as a chief. And then seeing family members stepping outside of their house in clusters or groups and that they were scared. Um, I think that people now because something like that is a reality that they really think about everything that happens and what the possibilities are and it gets you to think about what you really need to do on an everyday basis. I don't think any of us on that day could have imagined these huge buildings falling down and taking that many first responders and responders with it. So on the 10th anniversary of 9-11, we honor those who died, we pay tribute to those who responded, and we thank those who served, then and now.